I have mixed feelings about Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom because I was playing this game and I'm still midway through it. And let me tell you, uh, it's a mixed bag. Now, why do I say this? A lot of people used to say that Majora's Mask was like just one giant reuse of content and it wasn't as good. I actually thought they took the character models, added a new map, added a new story, a lot of different mechanics. So it really wasn't the same thing. Over here, it's a similar situation, only you have literally the same map, different shrine locations, a sky section, an underground section. Now, the map has also been altered in various things like Rito Village being covered in snow instead of not being covered in snow compared to how it was in Breath of the Wild. A lot of the armor sets used to survive these different biomes are in the same place. So in a way, I was able to map out parts of the game or game plans for exploring shrines in different areas way easier than I was when I played Breath of the Wild. Having said that, while I was picking up this game, I was wondering why they would push it back two years. Why would they? Answer is very simple. There is a lot of content. There's more. As much as I say the same weapons, the same armor sets, the same map, they expanded it in such a way where it seems like more than just a DLC. Granted, it's got a lot of similar mechanics, same graphics, same uh, shrine system, uh, just a different uh, relic that you collect, but same principle nonetheless. But it is a very big, still diverse, yet a copy and paste. So there's a lot of elements of Breath of the Wild still there, but it somehow managed to make its own twist. Now, am I saying this is my favorite Zelda game of all time? No. And ironically, Majora's Mask is my favorite Zelda game. And I know it's ironic uh, that I say that because a lot of people are going to take Majora's Mask and compare it to this because it's the same graphics, dynamic, as the game that came before them. Uh, where Majora's Mask, I just saw them taking the same characters with similar code, but making a whole new world. This is the same world with kind of a gloss of content over it. Uh, there's a lot of similar enemies and weapons, but they just added and expanded to it. Uh, the Sheikah Slate um, abilities are gone, and now they have new arm abilities, which are different. I really wish uh, that they kept the same abilities too, but there's not a whole lot that we could do. And uh, that might change because I'm still midway through playing this and I don't want to spoil it. I want to keep this very thing because I just know how Nintendo can be with its reviews and how people share its content. This is definitely the most expensive Zelda game that's ever come out. The first one that's ever cost more than $60. And I don't want to act like this is all bad. A lot of it is familiar and you could say that, yeah, some of it seems lazy, but I don't think it was lazy because it runs really well. It's not choppy, it's not hard to run. Very rarely do I have any lag or anything like that. So for a new game, you could tell they took the two years, because there's a lot that goes into developing games on this high of a caliber. People forget that. As someone who's got a background in coding and web development and stuff like that, I understand that game development is very similar, especially when you have to add all the new stuff, all the new lighting, all the new textures, all the new front end stuff and how it interacts with the code. There's a lot that goes in, especially when you're adding a ton of content and just making different uh, ways of going about this. So the couple years they pushed this back, it really isn't that bad. Um, it's mixed. I understand how much goes into these games, but at the same time, I would in the future like to see a Zelda game that is very different entirely from scratch with different dynamics probably more of a far cry over to twilight princess or skyward sword or ocarina of time because i knew they have this i know they have this new rpg style breath of the wild that they've used for this game also and it really is the same mechanic same way of playing the game but it's a very it's still a different game despite all of the similarities to the point where it's not leaving an overall bad taste in my mouth it's Kind of like 
you know, your average game at this point, I don't think it's all bad. I don't think it's the best thing ever. I give this about a 6 or 7 out of 10 right now where I still, in a way, recommend it. But just don't get surprised when you see the similarities because a lot of them are still there. But they make such a different kind of twist on it where they can that I still give them kind of like a B for effort in this scenario because it's not the best changes I've seen. But you could see that they made apparent effort into changing what they could. I'm going to go back and play the rest of this game. I recommend this game. I think that so far I'm having fun playing it. Uh, When I can, I just got a lot of stuff going on in my personal life that keeps me from playing this game 24-7. My way, I'd be playing this all week. But this is not a bad game. This is not as bad as some of these game doomers on Reddit uh, like to make it out to be because there's a lot of people, oh, it's the same game. Yeah, they, they have a point. Same game, but the way I've played it and the new stuff that I've seen them add to it It's bigger, brighter, more expansive. Yes, a lot of the same armor and weapons are still there in the same areas. They changed the landscape a little bit. And I'm I'm expecting some more similarities where I could see the similarities between this and Breath of the Wild and the overall story. But you could tell they really changed the front end where they could. And it's not going to be the last final boss, hopefully. It's not going to be the last four dungeons. It's not going to be the last everything, you know? So I recommend picking this game up. I still give this a tilted thumbs up because, yes, it's very similar, like I said a thousand times before, but where it is different, it shines and it does show some effort. Go pick this game up. Have a good time. It's really not all bad. And be grateful that your problems are playing a video game in a first world condition. Thank you very much. Have a great one.